Let's talk a little bit about closing. Everything is closing, whether we're knocking a door and closing an appointment or we're in a home closing a deal. When we're closing, we're always going to have problems that come up. What is your problem? We should expect objections. We should expect problems. We should look for buying questions and help. When we get an objection, the number one thing that we can do is identify what the true objection is. If you are trying to overcome an objection with a false anecdote or the wrong anecdote, you will delegitimize your offer. So the first thing you need to do when you encounter an objection is identify the true objection. The second thing that you need to do when you get an objection after you've identified it is isolate the objection. Meaning, Mr. Customer, I understand that you're concerned with the roof. Other than the roof being an issue or you having a concern with that, does everything else in the offer make sense? The reason we want to isolate the objection after we've identified it is because we don't want the customer to have a problem for every solution. I don't have a problem with it. He's now stated, yes, everything else makes sense other than the roof. From there, I can overcome the objection. What I do there is I go back into qualifying. When you say you're worried about the roof, what do you mean? What scares you? What are your concerns? So I'm re-qualifying, re-understanding his problem, and then I'm using logic to overcome that. The roof warranties, the roof penetration. That's logic, Spock. Using all of my knowledge as a solar sales professional to overcome that objection that I've isolated. So when an objection pops up, identify the proper objection, isolate the objection, and then overcome the objection with the correct anecdote.